Doodle butt. Fountain Pen Day 2023 is upon us. And sometimes most of the celebration seems to happen as far as retail sales going in the States and other places. But Bless Gets sent this lovely order. They are a Canadian retailer. I'm a Canadian channel. So they are having a special going on. 20% off for Fountain Pen Day 2023. The code will be below all the details, all that stuff. Check it out in the description. So let's run through some stuff they sent over to show what's going on. A chance to maybe try something new or check out other things. So we have this lovely uh, platinum ink. This is the uh, Chukura, which is supposed to be the blackest black ink ever made. We also have some new ones. Now, uh, Octopus Fluids has been my new absolute favorite ink. It is a pigmented ink, so you have to be a little bit careful. I'll tell you about that. But it's nice because they are waterproof and light fast. There's nothing worse than doing some writing or notes and then one single drop of water can ruin all of it. So these are fantastic inks and the colors are quite nice. And then we have this lovely platinum pen sent over as well. It has an Arushi lacquer and the Maki -E on the body here as well. This is the Phoenix 18 karat cold medium nib. And this thing writes just phenomenally well. So let's get through this. Let's just start up with the inks. If you haven't heard of octopus fluids before, they are out of Germany. And they also make quite a few fluids. Uh, and one of those is lovely fountain pen ink. These are from the Write and Draw uh, series of inks that they have. Lovely colors. And it's just gorgeous stuff. As I say here, calligraphy, nib, and brush. They don't explicitly say fountain pens, but you can use them in fountain pens but they are pigmented, so they do leave you a little bit of information. These are ones, you're, you're not going to leave these in your pens for a year and forget about them and come back to them. There are some downsides with pigmented inks, so just, you know, every, I don't know, maybe third fill or something, clear out the pen, and if you want to keep using it, keep using it, but just do give it a flushing uh, before you just, you know, don't keep it in there forever. You should clean the pen out. So we got a few different colors. Uh, we got a black one, they're black elephant, green tiger, and blue koi so they all seem to be themed around animals and then of course we're gonna be testing this out here as well in a in a moment too i have some pens inked up so i got this mahjong the reviews coming very soon uh has the koi blue the blue koi here my x159 has the green tiger and i just reviewed this the other day but i swapped the ink out for a different black ink to put in the black elephant. They are 50 ml bottles. They come in these little boxes and inside the boxes are these little inserts here. Now we got uh, some non-English side going on, but we flip it over and it tells you all the information. So they're waterproof. They have a high quality pigment that's in them. But it says here, should not remain in your writing instrument for a long time. I don't know how long a long time is. That's a very open and ended <laughs> suggestion, but uh, they just recommend you rinse it thoroughly. So uh, through the chatter and stuff that I read, you know, like they say, kind of every third fill. But again, if you leave your pen sit for a long time, that would be too long. I would just have it in a pen that you plan to use sort of regularly. And if you really keep using it daily and need to refill it, just maybe after the uh, the second time you've drained it, give it a rinse out and you should be good to go. But very, uh, I, very nice inks. I've been using these in particular, the Koi Blue. I'm a big uh, blue koi i should say i'm a big blue ink fan and i absolutely love this one i found sometimes the uh these type of permanent inks they're not as vibrant the dye bakes based ink seem to be more vibrant but the, they seem to have be hitting the secret sauce to have a good pigmented ink that's permanent but still have a rich color to it starting off on rhodia paper you hear we got the inks they work quite well now of course they do come out a little bit more illustrious a little more shiny and when they dry, uh, I find this with pigmented inks, they're a little bit more matte, not as kind of, they don't pop quite as much, but it is great because it is on there now. If you're putting this on important notes, just anything, you could be drinking a cup of tea or even a drop of condensation can land on your page and ruin it. If you're gonna put something in the mail, a signature, I really enjoy I actually the, I uh, see I did it backwards there again, the blue koi. I think it's quite a lovely blue. It is quite bright. And the best of all, here we got some water. You just go on and it, nothing, like all these inks here, just fantastic. Nothing is happening whatsoever. So that is great. It, if you don't believe me, it is, it's quite wet. You can see the water still on there. Didn't smudge, not one teeny bit. Now to get a little more pop out of it, 
you can get some regalia paper. So you can see it's got a little bit more saturation, a little bit more pop, a little bit more vibrant. And I really do love the feel of this regalia paper as well. And same thing, coming back with the wet finger, rub it all across here, the whole page. And same thing, you can see the water on there. It's not budging. So that is a really nice thing. I think we should all have one color that we like that is a permanent ink because sometimes that <laughs> it can be hyper annoying with fountain pens. You can just ruin something, especially here. It's the rainy season in Vancouver. You're just paranoid. If you got a, a pack of paper or some notes or something and it's got fountain pen ink on it, if it's not like this, you're terrified not to get one drop of water on it. So now let's go to the blackest ink of them all. Let's do a quick writing sample. I'll have some uh, Noodler's Black to compare to. The writing samples are done on multiple bits of paper here. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up at all. It is darker. Yeah, maybe you can see that. Another thing I notice, again, the camera isn't picking it up. Maybe on the other paper you'll see. But you can see the edges of the nib on every individual uh, line stroke with the Noodler's Black on all the papers. I, I cannot see it. It all just completely fills in into the complete dark black emptiness that this ink is. It is a very, very dark black. Let's go over here. This is on the regalia paper. Now on the regalia paper, sorry for shaking here, um, you don't notice as much of a difference. You can see it, but not as much, but there you go. With We, we even get sheen on regalia, which is crazy. But you can see those individual strokes on the Noodler's Black on the bottom, but here, on the uh, Chukuro, you don't see anything. It's all just filled in evenly. Here is some Muji paper, so you can see same type of effect. So depending on the paper, the color difference is not as evident. But uh, yeah, on camera here, it's not going to show you, but it is a very dark black. Let's test its permanence with water. So we'll do a little dip here with my finger. We got noodlers on the bottom, a little bit of smudgy. I'll switch fingers here just so I don't cross and smudulate. Oh, we're, yep, about the same, I would say, for both of them. The camera can pick it up. You can just see in the water the little teeny bits of black that go into it. And that's where this ink really comes in, this octopus fluids. I've been a big fan. The paper is still wet and nothing is smudging this stuff. Also, it's light fast, so you don't have to worry with the ink fading over time, especially if you like to like UV exposure. There are some inks that look beautiful and then come back a little while later and they've faded a ton, even if it hasn't been exposed. So loving these octopus fluid inks over here. Now, as a bonus, I'm also going to include a writing sample with this ink. This is the Blue Lynx. I won this at a recent Vancouver Fountain Pen Club meeting, which was held at uh, Buchan's. They had prizes for everyone to win, and this was the ink I won. As you can see, the Blue Lynx is a very, very light blue, kind of soft color. Same thing, uh, again, the regalia just makes things do, inks do different things. But again, if you saw a light blue ink like that, you would think immediately... Oh, that just will just wash away. Same thing. That's not budging. Now on to this absolutely stunning pen here from Platinum. So as I mentioned before, this is the Phoenix pattern. I've never had an Arushi pen or a Maki E pen. So this is nice. This is, I, I think, probably the lowest price entry point to a Maki E style pen because there's so much work and detail that goes into this craftsmanship and artwork let alone then the coating with the Arushi lacquer as well, that uh, it's it's, it's going to drive the price up no matter what you do. Normally those the pens like that are, are touching around a thousand bucks, something like that. So this is a much more affordable uh, kind of first step into that realm, and it is absolutely beautiful. Just a nice little slip cap pen. Uh, I'm being very careful when I go over top. I don't think, I don't know long term if I'm going to post it, but I'll just do it here for the review. If you are a, a must poster, just go over top very nice and gentle and just a little light press. And I don't know, you should be okay. I don't know. The Arushi is quite strong, but again, you just don't want to mess it up because once you mess it up, you can't really fix it. But lovely pen, nice, nice size, beautiful weight, nice and light. I'll give you more details. We have the 18 karat gold platinum nib nice and shiny look all that it's tough to even get a focus on it because it's so sparkly and this is in a medium and it writes just like an absolute dream 
nice little flare out there at the end so the section is quite nice and comfortable you can hold it wherever you want and it's going to be comfortable and of course all the gold trim and everything else to go with that it is a cartridge converter pen the cartridge and converter is also included screw off the body you know the deal there and it's right on there and i have it inked with the platinum ink here as well so we'll do a, a quick little writing sample and i'll tell you a little bit more about the pen the only thing i noticed okay so we do have metal threads and it will stop on here you have a stop so you i mean unless you deliberately over torque it you won't damage the threads but i just noticed that it's a little bit of a sharper profile than i i think if that was rounded just a touch more to be just a little bit easier on the body i don't think that's going to wear at all but and it you know it snugs down but just you know one little observation on there but this has been a super comfortable pen the ceiling is fantastic the snap cap is really nice let's give you a listen just the perfect feel for a snap cap and just a gorgeous pen you got to have it in black to show off the gold and silver and all those types of things the detail they're putting in there the white background here helps so you can uh, get a look at it but just a gorgeous looking black pen I think that's classic and this is just something you'll look at all the time it's fun to look at it even under the magnification to see all the details speaking of which let's try this i just picked these up off aliexpress they are 6x reading glasses and i'm using them for uh grinding nibs so it's a little more comfortable to go along oh actually we're doing not too bad but yeah these things are mega powered i feel like i'm bubbles from uh, the trailer park boys when i'm wearing these but they do let you see lots of nice details. So there's a nice little close-up so you can see that work. Let's show you up around the cap band here as well. Just gorgeous work. And while we're at it, let's check out the nib. Yeah, these actually work not too bad for the for over top the phone real quick and dirty. But they're, these uh, glasses have been really helpful. Of course, the focus isn't going to work. But for checking out nibs when I'm grinding on them. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying them. But there's a nice little close-up of the pen. The Platinum measures 136 and a half millimeters like so. For a size comparison, we got a bit of an angle thing going on here with the camera, but we have the Hongan A3, the Platinum Lamy 2000, and a Mahjong A1. With the cap off, it's 122 millimeters, and here are the other pens for reference. So it's uh, a little bit longer than the Hongan A3 and a touch shorter than the Lamy 2000. I measure the body at about 11.4 millimeters here, steps down. To about 10.4 and then finishes off around nine millimeters at the end the full pen like this nice and light about 21 grams pen body only we're just under 14. as far as likes and dislikes with the pen there's just only likes it's absolutely beautiful and the writing is fantastic let's get that started now this is also the box that it comes in so basic little box has some information on here as well and then a separate little card that tells you about the whole Arushi Maki process. And like I said, converter and ink cartridge is included, but let's do the funnest thing of all and start writing with it. So we covered quite a lot of ground today, tried out some new inks. These are fantastic. My new favorite ink are these octopus ones and also the blackest black ink there is out there right now. Very interesting stuff and an absolutely gorgeous, stunning pen here with some beautiful artwork. This is a whole other side to fountain pens that's completely opposite of how my brain thinks when it comes to engineering. This is something I would just not have any idea how to do that. And it's absolutely lovely. So check out the Blesket website for all the details. So November 3rd and November 3rd only is Fountain Pen Day. 20% discount on that day. Should you miss it, you miss this video, you're a day late and a dollar short kind of thing. Doodlebud22 always gets you 10% off there. So, But if you are looking to pick something up for Fountain Pen Day, 
uh, check out their site. Enjoy the 20% off for that day only. And again, it doesn't have to always be you buy something. There's something on your list and you want to get something. There you go. But it can also maybe be taking out a pen you haven't used in a while or an ink that you forgot about or you have a vintage pen that's sitting there and needs to get fixed. Fix it. Or there's a nib that's kind of bugging you on a pen. You don't use the pen too much. Maybe sit down and spend a few minutes, watch some videos, or just take the time and get that pen that's been sort of uh, not running right. Get it running right on Fountain Pen Day, even if you're not buying something. So Fountain Pens is about enjoying them. Fountain Pen Day is a way to celebrate it, whether you're getting something new or uh, just enjoying what you got. Hope you're having a great time. Let me hear you in the comments what you're doing for Fountain Pen Day while you're down there. Hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you haven't hit that. That's a cool thing to do. Until then, we'll catch you next time.